time and place. Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oke, okay, I think we can uh, pray together before we start our discussion. Oke, okay, let's pray. Pray and okay, thank you very much. You can see my screen. Yes. Okay. First of all, thank you guys for being here. We will talk about intrusive thoughts and overthinking and how to deal with with it what interests me talking about this is this topic is related to a person's mental health lately mental health issue has been trending and being talked about a lot many people are starting to care about their mental health and even tend to overdo it i hope you will be motivated and eager to share your perspective regarding this term. So now let's start. Let's move on to the first slide. Okay. The first slide, we talk about the first stuff. Uh, when we have um, commonly or sometimes, as you can see in the screen, the first thought is you are driving along a winding mountain highway and you imagine what would happen if you yank the steering wheel, what would the crash look like? How would you stumble down the mountain? Have ever had such thought in your mind? Anybody? Give me a sec to translate some words, miss. Okay. Okay, let's wait for Miss Sophie. Okay, maybe while we wait for Miss Sophie, anyone want to share their opinion? Okay, Mr. Sunshine. Well, uh, thank you so much for the time given. Uh, I would say that uh, I witnessed such experiences a lot. Okay, for example, uh, when I saw knife, okay, I would immediately imagine that I will cut. Uh, how to say, urat uh, nadi. <laughs> okay, I, I will cut my hand. Okay, just like what I frequently watch in some sinetrons or dramas, it can lead you to suicide or um, how the greed will that. Okay, and sometimes uh, when I um, come into a certain building that is so high, skyscraper, for example, okay, I would imagine myself to fall. Okay, from uh, from the highest floor of that building, and another time will be uh, I kind of uh, imagine that what would the future of my life be? Example, like if I have a serious relationship with her or with somebody else, or okay, there are would be some many variables that I put into this kind of imagination. Okay. Yeah, but uh, most of all, 
I would frequently encounter uh, this kind of thoughts when, um, when, for example, like in the traffic, like when there was, uh, when there were other road users that is not uh, so polite in uh, riding their motorcycle, driving the cars, um, I often pray inside my mind and my heart. <laughs> I hope that their vehicles got crashed, broke. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think that's what uh, my experience in my life is. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Shen Shen, for the sharing. And what about Ms. Sophie? Yes, thank you, Ms. Widi, for the opportunity. I don't mm -hmm. really like uh, understand fully, but is it right that uh, we in a certain time we imagine some scary situation happen in ourselves or someone is that the what the slide means yeah yes you're right uh, uh, okay. so yeah it's about our imagination mm, I see uh yeah I have like several time about this kind of thoughts especially uh like as I mentioned before, I have illness from uh, like genetic illness, asthma. So I barely breathe for uh, if if the illness came. That's why I really I really scare when I like uh, in a situation that really dark or limited space. So I couldn't bear I couldn't breathe. It just scare me out like. I can I can imagine myself in in that situation, but I don't know. Somehow, on the other hand, I always think that that's the way I die. Uh, eventually, that that just one of the the most possibility uh, that causes my die my my death. Sorry. So uh, I I always I sometimes I feel like I I have to like make preparation I have to prepare with this kind of situation but uh, it just like uh, freak me out all the time every time I imagine it I think that's it miss okay thank you miss Sophie for sharing your imagination and what about Mr. Tama Hi, Mr. Tama. Are you there? Okay. What about you, Mr. Tama? Tell us to what extreme your imaginative thoughts found. Your voice. I can hear your voice. Okay, maybe Mr. Tama have problem. So we move to the next person. What about Mr. Tommy? Hello. Hello, yeah, Mr. Tommy. <laughs> Can you tell yeah. us to what extreme your imaginative thought found? <laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm late. I uh, just trying to understand uh, how about the, the question, yeah? Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I think uh, this is just from my talk, yeah. Uh, mm. Read your presentation you are driving along a windy mountain highway and you imagine what would happen if you yank the steering wheel i think uh yeah i think that if happened with me I, the situation is make uh my head uh, like <laughs> uh, kick it off from my body yeah? so because you know uh, that's why uh, prior to going to mountain maybe uh, before we uh, have like 
or maybe before we 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 do the trip we need to prepare everything uh if, especially if you use car or maybe your motorcycle so you need to uh, check your uh, check the all the equipment especially in the steering wheel mm, i cannot imagine if uh, the situation happened with me or with my family but uh, i for i ever almost have an accident about the steering wheel so yeah uh, not really same with the the what you said in your presentation uh, miss witty miss witty anti but uh, if the accident is maybe a little bit same situation with the steering wheel uh, you know if you use car if you drive by car with your family uh, that's why uh, the tire the good tire one is must be uh, installed in the front uh, in the front yeah in in, in the front side so that's that's mean because your car uh, have the steering wheel mostly the the car yeah we can uh, exclude the four wheel drive if your car is two two wheel drive for example is the common passenger car so uh, mostly from the, the 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 system itself the steering system is uh, in the front front side so you need to ensure the the tire the tire condition in by the the, the tire condition you need to make sure the what we call a uh, uh, treat yeah the treat from the trial itself uh, please make sure your tire is not uh, apa namanya a baldi ya gundel ya bahasa Indonesia ya yeah, I don't know maybe Mr. Sansen uh, able to help me to find out the the the, the suitable word so uh, if your front tire is uh, the treat um, if the minimum level it's mean uh, the traction is lower than the normal so if the traction the traction is lower than the normal I think uh, the the accident will be become uh, the, the potential accident will be become higher so uh, i ever uh, yeah i ever have the terrible situation because i forgot to check my tire condition and i drive by my car go to my hometown with my family and then yeah you know uh, if you drive in the highway so your speed is almost more than 120 right so that's why <laughs> yeah i think 120 for the passenger car is not too fast if you use a bmw you will reach 150 or 160 maybe or maybe the mr sunset car you know the supercar <laughs> almost <laughs> 300 kilometer per hour so yeah it's, my car is not like Mr. Sansen car. So uh, in that speed, I think if the tire condition is uh, not uh, eligible to drive with the uh, fast speed, uh, I almost have the accident because uh, you know what we call in uh, apa namanya, slip, yeah? Because the, yeah. the speed is more fast and then uh the condition I, I cannot handle my my steering wheel so that's why i almost uh, crash with another car and yeah uh alhamdulillah yeah uh the ex i can I, I still can control my steering wheel so uh the accident is not happened but almost so that's why i think uh this uh the situation that happened with me so if the question is have ever had such thought uh, put the sleep yeah in your mind tell us what extreme your imagination to uh, i never try to imagine have the imagination to uh, put the something extreme because uh, i'm scared to, about the <laughs> effect if what i think it's uh, really happened in my life so that's why uh, but yeah, I I believe uh, I do agree with you, Miss Mitianti. If we have the uh, 
bad imagination or we have the what we call uh, apa namanya perasaan perasaan yang enggak enak yang was was ya. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, what we call either, uh, if we have the was was situation, <laughs> if we have a was was feeling. So I think that's good way. That's the like the first signal for us to prepare. Uh, yeah, if the the what we worry about it is will be happen. So what we prepare to uh, prevent it. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Tommy, for the sharing. So, from Mr. Tommy, we can uh, learn about how to do some prevention action, yeah? So, we won't get an, any accident. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, Miss Sophie, for the sharing in the chat box. Okay, so uh, what you see in the screen is just uh, some example of uh, bad imagination. Uh, you, of course, you can share your extreme imagination uh, based on your experience or based on yourself not based on based on the screen it's okay next Hello? i yes okay oh. okay mr tama yeah okay i apologize i, can hear you. I apologize about a mistake okay uh, yeah, okay that's okay. a problem there's a problem with my microphone okay it's not working so uh good evening guys Yeah, good evening, Mr. Okay, Tama. Good evening. Okay, don't say, uh, don't call me Mr. Tama. You can call me Babe Tama. Okay, I'm just kidding. You can imagine that. Okay, when I call Babe, okay, like one of uh, thoughts that can we figure it out. It, and then you know, uh, like uh, I often to listen to the Dr. Joe. You know, Dr. Joe. Dr. Joe is from America, and he's talk. Uh, he's speaking about this thought system the mindset mindset system like uh i mean like uh this is my first time okay to meet miss uh, mr ima mr tommy miss sophie okay miss vidianti and mr host okay mr host what's your name sunshine okay sunshine okay so guys i'm thinking i'm imagining about uh, their faces Okay, because uh, that is functional of the thought or mind. Okay, but uh, thought was uh, created by God, but it's the best system that I think. Okay, and then we can uh, imagine this. Okay, I have no Lambo, I have no Ferrari, I have no sport car, but I cannot feel that. Okay, inside the car like this. Okay, for the first step. Okay, there's a start engine. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. Uh, but I'm, I mean, like, uh, I mean, how to say it? Like, uh, the system of the car, okay, never have I seen about it. But I can imagine when I'm driving it and I, you know, uh, open the window and we can see people around us and I can uh, say hi to them. Hi, is that right? It's imagination, okay. What thought is crucial for us okay so let's uh, check it out like in the past when the, there's uh, there was no airplane why the people okay before us in the previous life especially is around the uh, 18th uh, 18th or 17th uh, i have no idea about it and wow that's cool and at the moment there, uh, there is plan so many plan airplanes here okay in this world okay we can connect uh, we are connected each other every single country and then yeah the point is uh the thought or mindset is special it's not a mi goreng special or nasi goreng special okay it's special okay it's not about just heart okay heart is uh, special as well but thought we can make or create something or establish system but before we never know about it but we can imagine it 
is like a machine. There's input, process, and output. That's mindset, that's thought that I know. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Tama. So, what's your extreme imagination? It's kind of just common imagination. Extreme imagination, uh, okay. Mm. When I said it, oh, I'm a utter about it. extreme imagination, it's like a positive mm. thing. Okay. Oh, positive thing. Positive thing because it's extreme. <laughs> okay. Ah, I'm I joking. see. Okay. Okay, don't take it personal. Okay, because uh, make it uh this, I mean, how to say it like uh, this meeting? Okay, is fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. like uh, it, you know that uh, I ever uh, I watch a film like you know that film uh, the film is. Um, Sherlock, no Sherlock. I ever heard Sherlock Holmes. I... Holmes. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes is a clever person. Okay, mm. but it's um, it's not real. But uh, the doctor created the character. Okay, but I have no idea about the <laughs> about it. But I can make it. Okay, and you know. The character is me, but I can't change the name. Okay, I change uh, everything that I want because uh, that uh, is from a best tone of mindset. Hmm. And then uh, I can fly. That's extreme because, yeah, it's not real. I cannot fly, but I can fly. It's extreme too. But if you say extreme, what extreme? What kind of extreme imaginations? Hmm. Like yeah. uh, we have uh, we are we are gonna have we are gonna be having someone is extreme too, but it's negative. Okay, that I said in previous sentence. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I uh, I guess yeah. uh, thought or mind. Okay, are same. Uh, we can uh, create thing. We can uh, figure it out thing. We can uh, get anything from mind while we have know it. Yeah. Okay. That's all? That's all. <laughs> okay, Mr. Tama. You share you share a lot of things here. Okay, let's move to the next person so we can uh, listen to other person extreme imagination. Okay, so we move to um, Mr. Imam. Okay, Mr. Imam. Hello. Are you with us, Mr. Imam? Oh, not now. Okay. So we move to Mr. Harry. Oh, Miss Sophie. Wait, Miss Sophie, you want to share something? Uh, I want to ask Mr. Tommy if that's okay. Yeah, okay. Please. Okay. Uh yeah. Um it's really interesting when Mr. Tommy said he he concerned about his family mm. uh when the thoughts came. So I want to ask Mr. Tommy, is family make you <coughs> sorry, if, if if family make you more vulnerable? about your life expectancy or more powerful because you're you're no longer one person your your life is like literally have your uh is your wife's and children's life as well so my question is is it make you more vulnerable vulnerable in your daily basis or you feel like more powerful more powerful because more people protect you 
That's it, Mr. Tommy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> can I? Can I answer the question, Miss Vitti? Yeah, of course. Yeah, Miss Sophie. Miss Sophie, Sophie always have a uh, difficult question every single event <laughs> that I follow. Her. <laughs> okay. Yeah, mm, I will give you an. Uh, uh, yeah, family for me is uh, we can say mm, that's my power and my anxiety in the same time. Because sometimes you will feel uh, a worry about your life, or worry about your trade, worry about your daily activity. If you are not prevent from the injury, if you are not uh, be careful with your body, and then yeah, sometimes uh, family. Um, after I have married and have the children. Uh, I I feel I have no power to do something extreme anymore. Yeah, it's totally different uh, with um our Lord, Mister Sunset. Yeah, he always he still have a big passion to try to find out the new experience in his life. But uh, it's totally different when I decided to marry because. After that, I need to. Uh, I have maybe before. If if I'm if I uh, when I was single, uh, I just thinking about, oh, this is my passion and I will do it. And when I was married, uh, I have um, at least three times to thinking this is good for me and for my family or not. If the effect or if the result will be. Uh, give me a bad result, so I need uh, to uh, consider to avoid it. So yeah, sometimes uh, that's uh, make me very uh, anxiousness. Yeah. <laughs> so, but in in the different in in the same time, uh, I have a. Uh, another power another power so if you maybe this is just like illustration yeah if you uh come back from your office in the evening and then you see your your cute uh, son or your cute uh, children's if you have maybe in the future i think uh your apa namanya your 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 tired will be gone suddenly so and then, yeah, but uh, the the point of what I said is uh, I always take three times to thinking before uh, I take some like uh, difficult, difficult uh, decision. For example, if I feel uh, stressful in my office, I'm really, really angry with my boss. <laughs> it's more than anger, then I see my lecture face. Yeah, <laughs> my post is uh, uh, very terrible to see uh, his face every day. But uh, yeah, uh, I need to think three times if uh, I want to take resignation. So because yeah, consider my family condition, consider my debt, <laughs> consider my my money, consider my uh, uh, apa namanya biaya rumah ya yeah? <laughs> what we call biaya rumah biaya yeah, household uh, cost ya yeah? uh, considering everything so yeah that's give me another power to to um, stand out in my my stand out in in mind so I keep my body keep my thinking to stay in my job and uh, avoid to <laughs> look to another crazy <laughs> melihat rumput yang lain that's that's my my point miss miss sophie so please uh, consider uh, two times if you want to having merit but it's no problem it's just risk about after that <laughs> thank you
Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Tommy, for the sharing about marriage. And it looks like Miss Sophie help, help a lot by your opinion. Okay, so we move to the next slide. Okay. Okay, after we talk about uh, our extreme imagination, so this is the second thought. Different people experience intrusive thoughts with different regularity. Different seasons of our lives can increase intrusive thoughts. How often this linger in your mind? In what pace of life this happen the most? So, who want to? Speak they speak the idea. Oh, maybe uh, Miss Nihilis. Hi, Miss Nihilis, are you with us? Miss Nihilis. Oh, it looks like there's a problem with her connection. So we want to hear uh, your opinion, Mr. Harry. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, hello, good evening. Okay, good evening. I don't know, I, I just want to know what it exactly means of meaning of the thoughts, these thoughts, by the way. Okay, this stuff is kind of unsummoned stuff that appear in your mind. It's not, uh, it's unpredictable. Mm. Could you mind to give me the one example of it? Okay, like the last, uh, like the last, uh, the last screen, uh, when you drive, when you drive, uh, suddenly you think about how when I got an accident here, uh, or when you see the train, when you see the train, you think about how when I uh, appear in front of the train, how 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 will my body uh, stretch out something like that this uh, is kind of your imagination uh, of the your imagination when you uh, face the common situation You get it? Where is it? Oh. Okay, Mr. Harry. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Harry, I can hear your oh voice. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry to apologize for at this moment. You know, it's heavy rainy here and uh, probably oh. my connection is stable. So it means oh. that, yeah, you have to move the other particip participants here. Oh, <laughs> and okay, okay. I'm yes. not sure with my connections here, yeah. It's unviable, also always it's, yeah, it's always happens. I'm sorry to say that, please, to say that, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh and my God. Thank you. So, thank you. Okay, okay. So uh, what about Mr. Imam? What's your opinion about the second thoughts? Hello, Mr. Ima, are you with us? Okay. 
Mr. Imam. Okay, maybe there is some problem yeah, with his connection. So, uh, what about Miss Nurma? Miss Nurma Yunita? Uh, okay, Miss. Uh, I will try to speak, uh, but uh, first I would like to apologize because, because my speak is um, still limit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what I understand with uh, slide uh, number, uh, slide, uh, the second slide is, uh, actually for me, uh, sometimes I am very uh, social with uh, new people but uh, there is a uh, there is uh, other time that i have worry or maybe uh, anxiety to start uh, communication with new people because uh, we don't know i uh, especially me i don't i don't know what uh, background she or he is or maybe uh, what experience that uh, she or he have before so I I get uh, a worry that maybe what I start to talk maybe uh, give um, give them um, how to say ketidaknyamanan uncomfortable yeah un un uncomfortable feeling yeah uh, it's it's not uh, it's not um, it's not a, that not uh, happen every time when I met um, when I met with uh, new people, but sometimes just just sometimes, yeah, that's for me. Okay. Oh, so the intrusive thoughts happen when you meet new people. Is it right, Miss Norma? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, new people and also uh, new uh, situation. Uh, yeah, new situ situation and people that doesn't really uh, close to me. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you, Miss Norma. Uh, and uh, okay, that's from Miss Norma. So, uh, is anyone agree with Miss Norma, or maybe have another opinion? Miss Pena. Yes, Miss. Oh, hello, Miss Pena. Your voice. Hello. Yeah, okay, okay. I can hear you clearly. Okay, what about you, Miss Dana? Watch rock two. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um what's up the heavens in my life is <laughs> problem is but uh, I think from there uh, I can learn from uh, this problem, uh, financial problem, friendship problem, and uh, even other life problems. And from the but for me, uh, from the problem, uh, that's a core makes us better and uh, can make change in our life. Uh, so. Because be, uh, if in our life, in my life, uh, have money problem, I can learn again how makes the positive side, positive side from my problem. Uh, then uh, for the next time, for uh, uh, <laughs> for next time, uh, I can make sense from my problem for. Uh, I think how the method I can more than well from now. Uh, so that uh, um, from the problem, I can make my life more than from now. That's uh, the point from me, Miss. Okay, 
Thank you, Miss Dina. Okay, uh, from Miss Dina, uh, he, she she will have intrusive thoughts when she get money problem, yeah. Yeah, uh, from money problem, uh, we can make sense from uh, to our lives because uh -huh. I, I because I think uh problems uh hmm, so pasti uh, which always happen with everyone. <laughs> I think that's but uh from the problem we can learn about our life. Ha, ha, uh, um, how the method uh, how me, how the method our life for the next can more uh, more than well from now. Uh, as the as the as the example, um, we have problem with uh, our but financial, but financial. So that mm. we learn uh, we uh, we uh, hard work uh, to make our financial good, <laughs> and etc. Maybe uh, we uh, we learn we study it and we uh, text money experience about word uh, so that for the next time for the next year next month and next day uh, we can uh, make the same make the same just about our financial uh, i think if we money study it uh, study we money study learning and as extra and get the money experience i think we can make sense uh, make sense just uh, about our financial and uh, Maybe I think that's miss and with the uh, other example, uh, but our problem with my with our friends, uh, with uh, our part, uh, with our partner, uh, from our problem we can learn so that uh, uh, the next time we can make a uh, about our society with my friend with. Uh, with um, my partner more than well. Uh, I think that's uh, for me a uh, problem. Uh, the point uh, from uh, my opinion is the problem make we uh, makes the changes for our life. Uh, if we can uh, take the positive side from from that. Mm. Okay. Okay. I got this. Okay, Miss Dana. Thank you very much. It that's so captivating but is there anyone who is willing to disagree or maybe support the opinion of Ms. Dana with other types of reasons or argument? Okay, is there... okay Mr. Tommy. Okay, thank you. Can I? Yes. Okay. In addition to what Miss uh, Dana Yulita said, yeah, uh, I totally agree with what you, what your uh, presentation, Miss Widianti. Different people experience mm -hmm. in intrusive talk with different regularity. Yes, of course, because uh, human have a polarity. Yeah, human ha always have polarity about the uh, about about all situation for example uh, i will see what mr sansen said in the chat uh, if one ain't export in stock they can circulate the money to buy stock and pay the loan with the interest of the stock uh, i have tried <laughs> i have tried the, the, the opinion i have tried the the uh, about, uh the suggestion from mr sansen uh, but uh, please, uh, because I have no experience about the stock, and maybe I, I just have the small uh, times to try to uh, looking at the stock uh, flow. So that's why uh, I sleep and then lost my money in the stock. Uh, but for the maybe you know the Lo Kang Hong, right? The Lo Kang Hong is you. The, he is a teacher of the stock here. Yeah. He is the legend of the stock market, Lo Kang Hong. Yeah, uh, he just spent his money, all money that he have uh, in the 
maybe in the extreme situation i don't know maybe uh, 1998 maybe and then he buy he bought the the cheapest stock uh, uh maybe in indonesia for example in pci yeah pci you know in in 1998 uh, the stock price from PCI is uh, decrease a lot so and then that's why he bought and um, he bought all the stock of the PCI so right now you know the, the stock the stock price increase but at that time Lo Kang Hong said uh, yeah my life is not different uh, my style is not different I'm as a, like a common people I'm doing my regular activity and then I have no uh, idea to buy a car in that moment, a new car, even though I am a, like, a, I have the small portion of stock in the PC, PCA. So that's why uh, refer to what I said in the chat about the uh, law of conversion of energy, <laughs> energy. So uh, life, it's equal with the style or in bahasa I will say uh, hidup itu sebanding dengan gaya gitu. Uh, I think uh, gaya it in in here is not about the uh, refer to style yeah not about the force not about the energy but about the style. If you uh, maybe if you if you have a promotion in your office and then your salary increase a lot but your style your lifestyle increase as well uh, in maybe in incrementally or exponentially it's mean uh, you always became you always have headache every end of the month because your salary is not you feel your salary is not up up <laughs> your salary is not you feel you you have no you have no uh you have no much money your your money is not enough always every end of month because yeah, because your lifestyle is in incrementally increased, right? right? So <laughs> that's why uh, I do believe, and I totally agree with what Miss Dana uh, thought. Uh, she uh, pointed about the um, relationship, and then so on and so on, and about the financial. Believe me, uh, when you, uh, apa namanya, as long as uh, along the way. Uh, if you still alive, uh, you will have the problem. But the the beauty of life is uh, because you have a lot of experience to face the problem. So yeah, at the at the time, at the point of time, you will enjoy the problem. And then sometimes you become a people. Sometimes you become a person that. Uh, need need yeah you you need the problem you need to challenge we have no we uh we change the the word problem equal with challenge so if you believe uh if you happy with the challenge i think uh you will mm -hmm. enjoy your life because uh, as much you have the challenge it's mean you have a lot of problem in your life but you will be happy that's the beauty of life <laughs> thank you miss Okay, Mr. Tommy, thank you very much for sharing your idea with us. Okay, N we move to the next slide. Okay, wait. So, uh, so an intrusive thought is a thought that enters our mind and summon. They might be morbid, imagining our death violent, imagining injuring someone else, or sexual, imagining a sexual experience, which of the three you experience most frequently, and why? Okay, so we already know about the definition of intrusive thoughts, and intrusive thoughts was divided by three, morbid, violent, or sexual. Which of the three you experience most frequently and why? Okay. 
anyone want share the opinion with us? Oh, this is newcomer, I think. Mr. Ryan? Uh, I was thinking, I was thinking why uh, that could happen. Ah, okay. Okay, Mr. Ryan still thinking. Yeah. Can you share now? Uh, I think, I don't know. Hmm. Perhaps that, <laughs> or maybe a pilot sometimes, or even three of them. <laughs> Three in a row. Damn it. Not gonna okay. lie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. Sometimes I just walk and then see a random stranger. I think of like, or maybe I look at the tall buildings, you know, and now what I think is just jump on that on the highest place and just crash my all my body or something <laughs> that's really unsummoned right. out mm. of nowhere but i feel like uh, it, this one is normal you know i can deal with mm. it every day <laughs> i mean it's the real the uh, the reality is not the same so it's okay <laughs> yeah it's okay. Yeah, it's about how to deal with it. I guess that's it. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Ryan. What about the others? Mr. Ahmad, are you with us? Hello. Hello. Hello? Let, me share, let, me share, let me share something ah, okay. to answer these questions. Okay, please. I learned so sorry. Let's uh, let me practice my English. <laughs> yeah. To begin with, answering these questions, they might be morbid. Oh my God, life is so suffer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, how to say? Commonly, when talk about a morbid, seems like we we typically pray because we we recalled uh, God and whatever, but I don't think so. Maybe we can do the better to create, to reinvent uh, something that we, we have done by uh, creating some experience, it becomes bad or, or whatever. But the violence, it encourage or it because of, because of uh, uh, making experience in our life it becomes the trigger or it uplift to to switch on to to be tipping point that we can do better we evaluate it and we can re we reinvent <clears throat> and we do not repeat again to be as, as a victim of violence because uh, i i was an a victim but i recalled that accident uh i i I, I do not expect or I couldn't think or I couldn't imagine. There are numerous uh, victims that they do not have a power to to demonstrate or to, to speak up um, mm -hmm. after mostly. It seems like I, I, I don't want to talk about love. <laughs> Um, I might be in relationship and whatever because when we have a, a monkey, a, not monkey, a puppy love, we, we try. We, uh, it seems like we have trial, <laughs> not trial, <laughs> trial to, to, get, to, to obtain uh, experience. Of course, uh, it can be both, will be suffer. It becomes the violent. Mm -hmm. the, the first the first love in uh, adolescence experience, but for a crocodile, for a boy, it doesn't matter. They can, they can, or he can easily find it out another, another female. But for female, 
to to let's see feeling deeper <laughs> by getting first experience it, it it's suffering for her and then <laughs> sexual i don't think so but to talk about this and i have no idea maybe mr tommy will answer this thank you very much for sharing Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Ahmad. So, uh, based on the Mr. Ahmad opinion, is anyone agree with that or disagree? Oh, I think it would be nice when we hear Mr. or Mrs. Dwi opinion Mr or Mrs or Miss Miss Dwi Oh uh, yeah am I audible oh. oh I'm sorry Mr Dwi Oh yeah okay, let's That's hear fine. about your opinion Thank you Miss so my opinion about an intrusive thought um, i think there i think it's just some kind of random stuff that just appears on on mine sometimes but i think what i am curious a little bit curious is is this normal or not normal because and and to what extent we can say that it's still normal? Because yes, mostly, or maybe sometimes when we just doing some stuff or just doing daily activities, some random, some random stuff just appear in the mind, like, like on this presentation, how can we die? What way that we will die on the future. And then what if I punch this random guy in front of me? What will what will happen with me? Who who is gonna win if I punch him? And also about imagining sexual and experience with maybe the girl pen that we like the most. But sometimes I just wondering, is this a normal stuff that every people usually experience? Or is this some kind of disease or disruption because of the daily task that uh, I face on my daily life? Or is this some kind of form of creativity that I have on my mind or or is it just normal stuff but for me I what what I experienced the most is maybe the violent one uh, in imagining injuring someone else because actually I never uh, have a fight with any other people and sometimes I just wondering how if I have a fight with this guy how if I have a fight with my teacher or if I have a fight with someone that is bigger than me, who, who's going to win the battle? Maybe I experienced that most because I never did any fights before. And that's why maybe that stuff, which is violencing, doing violence on other people. Well, what will happen to me? Who's gonna win? What if I being Ip Man? <laughs> what if I am being Bruce Lee? Yeah, that stuff. Maybe my my maybe what I'm what 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 is in my opinion when I see this presentation is about intrusive thought. Is this normal or is this normal? And how can we consider this normal? To what extent we can say that it's still normal? Maybe that's all from me, Miss. Thank you very much. 
Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Dream, for the sharing. Uh, so maybe I want to give uh, my opinion about intrusive thoughts. Uh, as I know, uh, in my opinion, intrusive thoughts is normal when you can uh, take uh, when you can uh, take uh, action or when you can manage the tough. Yes, when you can uh, manage the tough, so the tough won't infer your life, won't interfere your life, it will be normal. And it become, becomes uh, normal when the toughs uh, interfere you and you feel like you have no control, the tough. So uh, when you uh, feel this situation, you can go to the psychologist. You can go to the doctor to uh, to discuss about your problem and find uh, and find the the way the solution. Okay, so we continue to oh which one miss febri hi miss febri Mi mister <laughs> it's look like um i use wrong calls yeah mr febri or miss febri miss febri yes. <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. Okay, Mr. Fabry, can yes, you share uh, with us about intrusive touch? Well, I've just joined in. I've just joined. I haven't got the point. Uh, but can I give my, what do we call, my idea uh, for the yeah. next slide? Oh, okay. Okay. You will keep your idea for the next year. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Fabry. Uh, before we move to the next slide, uh, maybe um, Mr. Ryan. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Ryan, can you share us about your idea? Uh, this thought number three again. Yeah, yeah. Which of the three you experience most frequently and oh, the most, why? The most one. Yeah. I hate to say about this. <laughs> well, which one? Uh, I think the violence. Um, the, more, yeah. More about the violence. Not if not only to other people, but even me. Sometimes, mm -hmm. I don't know why it happens. Perhaps I banged my head to the door. I don't know. <laughs> so, so what trigger you to think about that? Hmm. Well, what makes me think like that? Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. it's often when I'm in sad uh, or maybe unconscious sad. Uh, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> when I'm still miserable, perhaps when I'm in uh, not really in a like a healthy condition. Not, in, not really in a good mood. But, oh. but thinking about that makes my mood even worse. You know? 
Okay. Okay. Uh, do you like Mr. Mana tadi? Hilang. Oh. Do you like Mr. Dwi? That never uh What? never violent someone. So the intrusive thoughts he experienced is about violin. Sorry, sorry. Can you yeah. repeat? <laughs> okay. From the three uh, about intrusive thought, last time Mr. Twist said, said that he experienced violin for the most. Do you uh, for the most because he never uh, he never violent someone. Do you have same experience? He never. So he have he has the thoughts of violence, but never violent someone. Mm. Yeah. So he imagine oh, how if I fight with someone, which one will win? Something like that. Uh, not not only depends on your strength, but depends on what you have too. Perhaps your opponent is. Um, more stronger, but you have a gun, for example, you can kill him. <laughs> you uh, got my thought, man. Oh, best this experience. So, the intrusive thoughts, the most intrusive thought you think was violent. I think. Yeah. Mr. Ryan? For me, the most one, yeah. Hmm. Well, not killing, but more into torturing. Torture. Hmm. And desire. So yeah, it's be like that. Oh, okay, okay. I get this. Okay. I guess thank you. Mm? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. You're so welcome. what the others? Is there any other opinion? Or what? maybe yes, Mr. Tama? Okay. So thanks for your time. Okay, thanks for your chance. Okay. An intrusive uh, thought. Okay. I guess I always imagine uh, I'm always imagination imagining about my death like this. You know, uh, in my age, uh, a lot of my friends, okay, got married, okay, with their um their partners, okay, because uh, they have a good relationship with each other, okay. And then I imagine this. Before I before dying, I should get married. Okay, and then can anyone uh, love me or no one? And imagine about it, okay, but never have I tried it. Okay, then wow, how about the feeling? How about the taste? But never have I have a sex, but I imagine about the taste. Oh my goodness, sometimes, but uh, you know, you get a point like I always imagine about my death when I die before getting married is like a, the worst life in my experience but it's not a bit about experience because it's gonna go by from my life and i'm another life <laughs> yeah that's all thank you <laughs> okay thank you mr <laughs>
it's kind of a little bit funny yeah so you won't uh, experience more when you tell before you married right <laughs> okay 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 mr tama so miss dena do you want to share your opinion okay <laughs> Um, for uh, for me about uh, amazing hour that <laughs> sorry, Mister Pertama mm. because when I fear that will come when I have no profession to face it because I know that can happen anytime <clears throat> and anywhere according. To God's uh, prop, uh, propense will I have not been able to do my best in my life. I always think about my sins, which my still my uh, my still have money have money with mistakes. Uh, what I do in my life? That's uh, always uh, join my thing. In my opinions about uh, imagining our death. Uh, usually, I know afraid about it, but I have no prepare for to face that. I think that's my problem, Mister Miss. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Dena. It's still about the money problem, yeah? Yes, I think. <laughs> yeah. Because to first, uh, um, that, that's happened, uh, that's happened, uh, we must have a money free pool. <laughs> money free per most mm. people, uh, most free per, yes, miss. Mm. Because, um, uh, because I think that, that that's uh, our our lives can come back to our world <laughs> if uh, that that's uh, heaven. Okay, um, I think uh, stop stop in that time. Uh, no can make a sin. No can make change a sin. This to the next time but in the other problem but uh, uh, prob uh, the other problem i think we can make changes for next time but if but uh, we uh, we asking we say, talking about that about that uh, uh, it's very sensitive <laughs> because uh, it's for penis out to our life so we we uh, we can make the method how to make changes from uh, make changes, uh, um, so uh, so that uh, the next time we can more than well, but uh, as the uh, as the uh, other other problem, I think we can uh, make the changes as, as <laughs> but the problem. Example about or uh, maybe problem violent eh? it makes injuring someone else. I think that can we make sense if we want to learn. Uh, as the Miss uh, talking last time, we can uh, um, seeing the doctor, we psychologue and etc. But if we talking about that, I think. No matter again, finish. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Miss Dena. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I uh, have different intrusive thoughts, yeah, and it will it would be normal if you guys can um face that, okay, and if you feel like you can control that uh, please 
go to the doctor. Okay, we continue to the fourth half. Choose this or that. Okay, do you think to have this type of thoughts is normal? How do you deal with these thoughts? Do you suppress it, ignore it, or what? Or the more you don't want the intrusive thoughts to happen, the more vulnerable you become to having them. Agree or not? Okay, so. Um, G -N R Miss Miss or Mister G -N G -N R Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh, <laughs> I okay. didn't really follow the conversation, but I heard you say G N R. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Okay, you you rocker? No, <laughs> GNR is my abbreviation name. So my real name is Gandhi. I just use my abbreviation oh. from that name. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, Mister Gan Gandhi. Gandhi, yeah. Gandhi, okay. Which one do you choose? So wait, wait. Or you want to answer all? Uh, I think I can see the what is the sharing. Uh, it not appear in my in my what is my my phone. Yeah. Maybe you just just one for me, Miss. I can yeah, see. Okay. I can see the 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 list. Mm, okay. So you choose this or that. Truth or there? This, this or that? All oh, this or that. Okay, I choose that. True or there? Sorry. And then what? Yeah, just your opinion about I, this this and i can see the, the the topic miss sorry you can see yeah the blank oh. so i just ask you to choose for me oh, oh, oh okay okay what about the others anyone can see my screen I can see. Oh, okay. I can see it's... it, Miss. Okay, yeah. Fabri, uh, send. Mr. Okay. Gandhi, I send you. I send you the, the picture. Wait, okay. Wait, wait. It's Countdown. like, yeah, you have uh, trouble, Miss Gandhi. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You can re yeah, so rejoin, that, yeah. That is the more, the more you don't want the instant intrusive thoughts to happen, mm -hmm. the more vulnerable you become to having them. Oh, uh, yeah. What is the, I don't know, what is the real means of intru, intrusive thoughts? Can you give me an example? It's like I feel bored sometimes about this life and you have a boring time and what should you do? <laughs> oh, like feel exhausted of this life. Like that? Uh, yeah, you feel exhausted about this life. Okay, extreme when, but... imagination. Don't extreme. don't suicide it. Don't decide it. Okay, don't suicide. Don't, don't decide. decide. <laughs> yeah, the more vulnerable you become to having them. Uh I don't know. I, I didn't really catch the, the question, but I tried to answer. So, yeah, sometimes as a human being, we 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 get bored. Like. We got where we get uh, what is having like yeah exhausted of our life, but but I I try as soon as possible. I I what is I uh, uh, solve that that feeling kind of feeling because there are more 
maybe people then uh, not lucky as me, maybe as us. So like maybe we, we feel bored in the in the job, like uh, maybe it's very mundane job. We do that things and like uh, repeat and repeat again. And we must see that some people maybe is really, really fight for got a job like that. And then maybe I got feel tired like when when I am arrived at my home that my 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 children maybe is like gang annoyed me <laughs> like I'm feel tired and then they want to they want me to play with him play with them and yeah something I get I just feel exhausted and you know like when we maybe when when she's still single <laughs> we can hang out we can like do whatever we want. Like we don't have really have that responsible if you have already have the family. Something I, 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 I think like that, but, and then I, I try to solve that feeling. So there's so many people maybe didn't really get hard maybe to, 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 to find a, a real partner, real, real soulmate. <laughs> and maybe uh, there are so many family also that who struggle for, for having a children like that. So that's my answer. I don't know if it's a good answer uh, related with th th that question or not. <laughs> uh, okay. Just forgive me. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the opportunity, Miss Pidiati. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Mr. Gandhi. Yeah. So you will you will hear the other's opinion, yeah? First, from Miss P. Okay, Miss Sophie, what about you? Okay, Miss, uh, I think I'm going to choose this, the, this one. Yeah, okay, of course. Um, the reasons, uh, do you think I have to see? Yeah, I think it's normal. Mm -hmm. uh, I have, for, when I was a kid, I used to have the thought like I always, I will, uh, I will be kidnapped by some adult. And then they will like uh kill me and then they sell my organs. And then that just freaked me out every time I I think about it. But uh after uh, I growing up, right now my intrusive thoughts more realistic. Like for example, my thesis got rejected. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um uh, for example, like I got failed or I left behind from my friend's career, like uh, those like extreme thoughts that I usually have in my daily basis. But I think as, as, as long as it's not that intense coming up to my mind, I think that's still normal. So uh, I think what it's abnormal is when we don't have any intrusive thoughts, like where 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 life is just okay. It's just like uh, calm and manage well, and everything just uh, in the right order. I think that's what that's when we have to like start asking or wondering why what happened why. If I don't have this kind of thoughts, I should have concern about something or I should worry about something because from that worriness, we could be able to find like the solution or the next plan we would like to achieve. Hopefully that, and then uh, how do I deal with it? Do I suppress it? Mm -hmm. No, because I already experienced every time I surprise my the thoughts it just came back like a thousand more i i suppress it and it's like come back double triple so i prefer to like yeah when it comes to okay i will face it like oh what what do you want to serve for me today like what do you want to show me i will i will see it and then after that just gone and then come back another day that's okay i think that's it miss Okay, thank you very much, Miss Sophie, for your sharing. Okay, so 
when your intrusive thoughts come, you will face it, right? Yes, miss. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Next, Mr. Ryan, what about you? Okay, this is me. I will choose this. Do you think to have this type yes. of thought is Sorry? normal? Well, what, what mm. I was thinking is my friends and even my sister have this kind of thoughts. So I think if everyone has it, then it, it is normal. <laughs> But it doesn't mean it is okay. I mean, uh, of course, it's uh, it, it is normal if uh, it exists. It is uh, But how do you deal with these thoughts? Uh, now, how do we deal with it? Is uh, perhaps uh, what I am thinking really is to release all the negative thoughts. It doesn't mean that you have to always be positive. There's, al there's also, there are also uh, some uh, critics for thinking positively even. Uh, no. And how to deal with these thoughts is what it is. Maybe, I think everyone ha uh, could make their their own way you know but mm. even though uh, there, there are so many ways we are the one who will make it the best way you know because we are the one who uh, face and challenge against it damn i'm a motivator <laughs> do you suppress it ignore it or what uh i think uh i think i'm more into I've tried to suppress it, but mm, you know, like the bad question, uh, it's not really working. So uh, I ignore it. What I mean is, I'm not really giving a, a feeling of it. So just let it by. You know? And I think uh, the more we are letting go, sometimes the more we are getting more, you know the more we are getting what we want. So I, I guess that's it for me. Okay, so you will? You, I will ignore so, it. Ignore it? Yeah, just waste okay. what we want. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, thank you, Mr. Ryan. Uh, Mr. Ryan will ignore it when the intrusive thoughts comes. Okay, so next, Mr. Tommy, what about you? What's your opinion about this or that? Okay, me or Mr. Fabry first? Okay. Mr. Tommy. Okay, thank you. Thank you for calling my name. Okay. <laughs> uh, just this or that. I think, yeah, in my opinion, uh, this or that is normal will be happen sometimes we will feel vulnerable to become uh to have the effect from the intrusive thought because intrusive thought is uh, we cannot avoid them at all in our life in our entire life you you are human we we, we are human and then uh i do believe uh, every single person have the extreme tau but uh yeah but uh probably you uh choose to ignore it or you choose to keep it in your mind then and you will uh execute it in the in the in the right time in the end and in the right place and i think if you have unlike for example, refer to your previous slide, the three of the extreme, uh, the intrusive talk. Uh, yeah, um, I have three. I have I ever have the the all of three that you presented, uh, Miss Vidianti. But yeah, I mm -hmm. I just feel that's look like a like a 
this script talk in my mind so i really really understand and then because uh that's why i ignore it uh but i choose uh maybe some of the talk in my mind and then uh try to find out the 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 appropriate time <laughs> the appropriate condition if if i need for example i said uh do you have interest if thought to kick your boss yeah i have <laughs> that's the truth because sometimes it will be happen in in every every person everybody uh if you anger if you angry with someone then you cannot uh kick his kick his face because uh, you have the difference uh, or you have the lack of position for example so that's why you just keep in your mind and you what we call mm, you elaborate the mind and then it, you 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 think uh, in the next time i will kick your face if i can so and then yeah so if you are asking me about the justice or that uh, i will just put and what i will suppress it ignore it or what uh, yeah i just uh i just the the yeah i just i will i will choose to keep it in my mind but just for the several uh out not not all and then for the rest i will ignore it just to prevent myself to prevent my 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 family if there's something bad happen in the future and i need to do the what i talk what i uh, keep in my talk about the intrusive <laughs> so yeah it's okay i will do it thank you miss lizzie okay thank you mr tommy so uh what i get is you will act uh, based on the thought based on the thought yeah the thoughts yes. you will yeah sometimes you will ignore it sometimes you will uh face it and others like that yes of course because yeah because uh yeah i i believe this is the normal normal thing for anybody so we cannot ignore it at, at all uh we just embrace yeah we just embrace the talk and then yeah elaborate it and keep some to do in the next next future if we we have the what we call uh keterpaksaan what we call keterpaksaan in english yeah we, we, if we have the keterpaksaan itself okay 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 i get this okay thank you very much minister tommy so we move to the next slide oh okay it's still choosing one of the tough the thoughts yeah you could have the thoughts i love chocolate ice cream but you actually detest chocolate ice cream and only like vanilla do you assume thoughts are not equivalent to desires or what if your mother or your lover say to you what if i lose control in the middle of the night and stab you how do you respond to that Oh, Mr. Fabry, where is Mr. Fabry? Oh, maybe his connection was bad. So, uh, I will ask to Miss Norma. Miss Norma? Um, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss. Uh, I just read this 
is this you could have the top and have chocolate ice cream, but actually the just chocolate ice cream. Mm. <laughs> what if I lose control? Which one, Miss yeah, okay. Norma? Uh, <clears throat> uh, for me, maybe I'll, I'll, uh, I'll choose this because for that, mm. I don't really, um, I don't have imagination or maybe thinking of that situation. <laughs> so I'll go with this. Yeah. But mm. it is chocolate ice cream. Yes. But I don't really have opinion about uh, the how to how to say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you talk? Um. Oh, um. I'm sorry. Um. In uh, the meaning, yeah. The meaning of this is, kayak pikiran dan perasaan berbeda gitu ya kak maksudnya pikiran dan kenyataan berbeda pikiran hmm. dan kenyataan I'm sorry I'm sorry maybe because I don't really understand the the talk the so, question yeah the question yeah so oh, so yeah maksudnya we can uh, we can solve jadi maksudnya kita itu bisa ber, uh, berpikiran bahwa saya suka es krim coklat, tapi kenyataannya saya itu uh, alergi coklat atau nggak suka coklat dan hanya suka vanila. Oh, oke. Okay. Uh, is the meaning. Oh, jadi oke. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I use bahasa to explain. Oke, okay. jadi hmm. maksudnya uh, yang kita pikirkan bisa jadi di kenyataan itu enggak ter enggak bisa sebenarnya tapi kita bisa mikirin bisa gitu. Apa gimana? Iya, iya. Iya. Oh, ya. Yeah, so pertanyaannya, do you assume thoughts are not equivalent to desires? Uh, Oke. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but actually for me, uh, this I in these two uh, choices I will go with this. But uh, actually, I'm I'm a very realistic person, so I, mm -hmm. I uh, sometimes I can't imagine that I uh, I can't imagine something that in reality I can do. You know what? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Mm -mm. So, uh, so I I don't I don't, I really don't know what to choose because <laughs> for that I I can't imagine the oh yeah my mother or my family <laughs> say that to me. I can't imagine that. So I don't know. <laughs> Oke, okay. oke, okay. Miss Norma, thank you. You are a realistic, ya, yeah. realistic girl, ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> oke, okay. thank you very much. Next, uh, we will hear the opinion from Mr. Febri. Ya, yeah. yes, saya. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, I will go with this, I guess. Mm. Yeah, because sometimes what I am thinking, and then the rea the reality is not uh, is not what I'm thinking. Uh, that's the mm. fact. Uh, uh, I I do believe that there is a. I don't know. I try to implement Kyusera Sera in my life. Uh, some things that I think it's going to be big, but because of, I try to implement Kyusera Sera, so just let it go. 
uh, I do my best and then I don't need to think about the future. I don't need to think about what will it be uh, later. Just just do do what I can do right now, only that. But that, that is also realistic for me. Sometimes uh, I feel like I'm a natural. <laughs> I'm a natural when people uh, when people are acting bad uh, in front of me, I feel like I'm going to kill you in my mind, even though I'm not saying it directly. I'm, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> That's the naval side. Uh, but it's okay though, I guess, uh, because uh, because I'm not a prophet. I mean, like I'm not a man Muhammad or something. Uh, Yes, I am not that good, but I'm not that bad as well. <laughs> so sometimes that kind of thought uh, coming up to my mind. But even though the realization is not like that. So I will go with this. OK, Mr. Fabry. Thank you for your idea. Next, who want to share the idea? So, Mr. Country? Hello, are you with us? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just still, what is the screen? I can see. <laughs> so if you ask me again, please, Fabri, share the question. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, Mr. Tommy. Yes. You right? I yes. Uh, <clears throat> Do you assume thoughts are not equivalent to desire? Uh, Mr. Uh, Miss Beatty, uh, do you find someone to choose this is not equivalent in their opinion or everybody have the same assumption? It looks like uh, Miss Norma. Mm -hmm. She was a realistic girl so she can think anything about this mm -hmm. and mr fabry mr fabry is not clear right yeah isn't isn't clear yeah you need to make a follow-up question yeah from him yeah uh from my side uh are mm -hmm. uh, always equivalents with the desires because if you know about the conscious thinking and unconsciousness thinking right mm -hmm. uh, uh, people say he is he is uh, he like a blue one but uh, first looks is not be lie or we can say it, uh, you can see if you can see someone is a lie or not lie in 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 uh, coming from the eye right uh, mm. that looks like a validation validation response from our body mm. if we will be a lie or we will be tell the truth so i think uh, uh, our response from the situation is uh, correlated with uh, with what we thinking about so um, if you asking me about the justice or that uh, uh, consider what we will do by Miss Sophie if I choose that, so I will choose this <laughs> because uh, I believe uh, thoughts are always equivalent with desires. Mm. If even though we uh, we refuse we refuse the mm. 
the people's the opinion from people's so yeah i still believe a thought are always equivalent to desire thank you miss Bidu. okay thank you very much mr tommy okay i think we stop here because the time is up and okay i will stop share first okay okay mr sunshine i'll i give back to you unmute sir Uh, thank you for reminding Mr. Hu. Okay, well, uh, thank you. I'd like to say it to our mother tonight, uh, Miss Sweetie, for her excellent skating. And now we move on to uh, time. There are some um, uh, highlighted uh, turns. Okay, so uh, as I told you before, what uh, Nadi means pains, okay, or artery. In sleep, okay, Mr. Tommy, uh, again, yeah, so sleep uh, is actually English, but it's absurd in Indonesia, and that's why sometimes uh, we kind of uh, distort it between whether this is English or not, okay. So anxiousness is also acceptable. Uh, you, you could say uh, you could also use anxiousness as a replacement of anxiety means was uh, was was yeah, was was uh, okay but the adjective one is anxious while it also replaceable with noun uneasiness or uneasy okay prevent prevention action should be preventive action or mitigative action or mitigative measures okay this does not happen should be does not happen that does not happen Okay, biaya rumah, uh, home expenses. Never violent someone. Violent is a uh, noun. Okay, it should be a verb and that it should uh, utilize uh, violate or abuse. Okay, there is no money rent. Yeah, there would only be house rent, <laughs> a room rent. <laughs> uh, no money rent. Yeah, it should be loan. Okay, you could be able to find it is. Uh, we call it redundancy because uh, could and be able to also have same meaning. So, which is one of them. We could find or we are able to find. And the last one, but uh, not least, would be compulsion, means katrapaksa. Okay, guys. So, thank you so much for attending our discussions to our moderator. And before closing, as usual, we would like you guys to open your camera so that we can take picture together. Okay, please. Uh, okay, Mr. Ho in Europe, I suppose. <laughs> Mr. Tom, uh, Mr. Tommy, uh, uh, Mr. Embracer, and <laughs> Mr. Kandri. <laughs> Is that really you, Mr. Tommy? Because I couldn't see you move. Robot. You deceived me, I suppose. You deceived us. Impossible. Okay. It must be your way to trick your boss, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. What about try and Norma, Sophie? Okay, guys. Okay then. Okay. <laughs> okay then. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to screen shoot. Uh, in three, two, one. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to save this first. Wait a moment. Okay, next again, one more time. On the count, one, two, three.
Okay, thank you so much, guys. So, as usual, last but not least, uh, let's end our the stations by saying, Hail Ota, yesterday. Yesterday, you said, say tomorrow. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday say tomorrow. Okay, guys, thank you so much. See you again with Ota. Next discussion, bye, guys. See you. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Until next time. Thank, thank you, Ota. Yeah. Thank you, Ota. Thank you very much. Mr.